In this video, we will go over four different ways on how we can back up our FortiGate configuration uh, from manual to automatic options. Uh, and then we'll also cover how we can restore our configuration. We can manually back up our configuration by clicking the admin username in the top right corner, going to configuration, backup, hitting OK, and then we'll have a file downloaded to our downloads folder. And this is the whole configuration in its entirety. Now let's make a quick change to the FortiGate's configuration. We'll just change the host name from FortiGate3 to TTP Fortinet. We'll apply that configuration. Um, and then now let's just restore that configuration that we, um, that we just saved a moment ago. All right, so that will require a system reboot. All right, now once we're back online, we can see that the host name is FortiGate number three, uh, like it is in the configuration file, which if we take a closer look, we can actually even see that specific in, um, in the file that we just uploaded. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, all the configuration is just stored on one file on the FortiGate. Uh, so really easy to back up and restore manually. Another option we have is to leverage automation. So before we get into the automation logic, this is kind of the idea here is that we can have a, com a command that is run um, whenever we set a trigger, which we'll get into in a moment here. But this would be the command that would be run. So when we run that command, uh, we've connected to a TFTP server and we've dropped the configuration file. So this, would, this is the TFTP server that we're logging to. Uh, let's do it again here. There we go. So we can see that action happening. We go to TFTPD here, and this is where our config file is. All right, and how we configure this is we go to Security Fabric, followed by Automation. We'll create a new automation stitch. Let's just name it Backup. We'll make it on a schedule. Um, you know, so maybe we're going to make it a you know Monday morning um, CLI trigger here. And we'll name our script backup. And then I've just kind of copy pasted the same command that we just ran a moment ago. So yeah, pretty much every single Monday morning, um, we're going to have a backup that gets automatically triggered to the TFTP server. Another good option here is if we configure 40 gate cloud. So if you haven't already, you can just click not um, not activated on this uh, main dashboard and then configure your the, your same support.fortinet.com credentials that you use to log into the support portal but just configure 40 cloud if you if you haven't already great once we've activated 48 cloud um, let's just make one more check and go to security fabric fabric connectors 40 manager I know we're not configuring 40 manager but let's just make sure that this section says 48 cloud here and we have to configure one thing via CLI here. So we go configure, configure system central management. We go set mode backup. Now, whenever the following command is run, then a backup of the configuration file will be available via 40 gate cloud. So let's log into 40 gate cloud now. First, we go to 40cloud.com and then we'll log in here. Now, once we access 40 gate cloud, Let's go to the specific FortiGate, go to the management section, and then we'll click backup. And there we have it, right? And in my case, I just ran the same command twice. And what's kind of cool about that too is even though we're using the same name in, in the CLI command from the FortiGate, we do save a unique copy. And that's one thing that differentiates this option versus the TFTP option that we showed before. Now, same as our TFTP example before, uh, when we set it on an automation script, we can go to the one that we just created prior, which was the backup option here, and then we'll just change that command. Uh, and then in this case, it would actually upload the log or the configuration to 48 cloud instead of to that TFTP server now. Now our final option to back up configurations uh, automatically would be using the, the scalable um, and, and a lot more feature rich option, which would be the 40 manager. So to do that, what we would start by doing here would be to configure our fabric connector. We'll change from our 40 gate cloud config here like we did in our previous example. We'll move over to um, on-premise. I'll put in the IP address of my 40 manager unit and then an authorization request will be sent to the 40 manager. On the 40 manager in the top right corner, 
I'll just authorize the device here. All right, so once authorized, we can click on the new unit here. And then we see that we have the revision and the revision history here. So now what we'll do is I'll just push a policy configuration, pretty much pushing a configuration update to the FortiGate and then see what it looks like. So using the same example as before, let's just change the host name again. We'll change it from FortiGate 3 to TTP Fortinet. Okay. And then after that we do, we just go through the install wizard as normal and we will update the configuration for FortiGate 3. So let's install that now. Okay, after the install, let's take a look again at the revision history. There we go, so we have two now. And then we can, you know, for example, let's do a diff between these two. Select version. So that's pretty cool there. We can see the, the, the diff here. And then what we can also do is we can right click this um, and go revert. So if we want to go back to the initial configuration, we just um, would select revert. Perfect, and then after, the, after we do that revert there, then really the next step is that we import the configuration once again, and then we run the install wizard again. Once that's done, we can take a look at our unit again, and we confirm the host name is back to being FortiGate 3, and now we have three total revisions. The latest one, the latest revision technically being the, the first revision as well. All right, so that covers our four different ways on how we can back up uh, our configuration on our FortiGate. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.